My name is Sam. I am 13 years old and I'm the patient. I had a lot of anger and I always put a smile on my face although I didn't really mean it. And so when my family started to realize that, my mom took me to Cincinnati Children's and that's when we got help and a new beginning started. I'm Tammy. I'm Sam and Emma's mom. Sam and Emma's father committed suicide in 2008. Depression runs in the family. She'd become very depressed, sleeping a lot, had gained some weight, was very moody, and she actually said the words that she wanted to die. She wanted to kill herself, and I knew I couldn't help her, so I took her to the emergency room. It would start off slow, such as, you don't fit in, you're not perfect, you can't help anyone, you're useless, it's pointless to go on, and then it would just get worse. This kind of came on as a surprise. The girls both went through art therapy and some other therapies after their dad died, and this was two and a half years after that happened. So it really, really was something that we were not even looking for. Grief is something that everybody handles differently, and grief can last a very long time, years. It never goes away, and I think that for most of us in the family, we went through the grief cycle and we, um, you know, we're feeling pretty good about life and moving forward, but Sam was kind of stuck and we didn't realize that she was stuck. She was admitted from the emergency room. We went to the College Hill campus and she spent, I think, seven days total there. My mental health specialist came in every morning to wake me up with a smile. So it didn't feel like a hospital. It felt more like a home that you got help at. I started smiling a whole lot more. They would remind me who I was. They helped me find who I was. Just because my dad's gone doesn't mean I have to be gone too. It means that I get to be who I want to be now. Somewhere in the world, a person commits suicide every 40 seconds. That's one million people per year. I want to help kids like me and so many others because we need to look out for them and we need to care for them and I'm going to be the one who does it. As parents, you know, we need to slow down sometimes and we need to listen and our kids will talk to us if we listen. That's kind of where our heart is now is to reach out to these children and the parents and let them know that there is help out there and there are other people out there like them. We just want to be able to share that, that they don't have to have the burden all to themselves.